Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. And yes, I have been gone for quite a long time. Thank you guys for being patient. I have been very, very busy. Uh, if you haven't been watching them, I am now doing a, a weekend series where I am showing um, myself writing a book from concept all the way to publication. I'm covering every step of the process. I'm showing my writing. It's either on Saturday or Sunday. Um, so check the channel. It's always at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you want, you can click the notifications button and it'll let you know when I go live. You don't have to click all videos, just click the live stuff and they should email you when I'm live. And I've also been doing game nights where we do horror trivia uh, at 6.30 Central Standard Time every day that I do the writing stream. So it's either Saturday or Sunday. I never know which day I'm going to have free. But anyways, on to the review. Uh, today is the release day for this book, and we are talking about Amina Akhtar's Kismet. Uh, this book, first off, the cover is super, super sexy. I'm holding this version up first because Amina was nice enough to send me a, uh, a advanced review copy. I read it, loved it, and of course I had to go out and order the hardcover because I have a hardcover a Fashion Victim, which was one of my favorite books of that year, the year that it came out. But today we are talking about Ronnie and wellness and gurus and crystals and all that stuff. Let me go ahead and read you the, uh, one of the things before I get started, what I like so much about uh, Amina's first book, Fash Hashtag Fashion Victim, was that it, it, it poked fun at a, uh, not, I almost said genre, it poked fun at something that was a huge part of Amina's life. Uh, I believe she was a, a fashion writer um, for many different, in fact, let me, instead of just guessing, let me, let me tell you all the places. Uh, Refinery29, Yahoo Style, Fashionista, XO Jane, Billboard, uh, and for brands like Bergdorf Goodman and H&M's uh, 10 year, 10, H&M's 10 Years of Style Tome. So she had her feet firmly planted in that world, and I loved the book. Um, I, 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 I love calling it like American Psycho um, for a casual reader, because that's how it felt to me. Um, when, when, I, when I say casual reader, it's not full of all of the constant name dropping that uh, Brett Easton Ellis does in American Psycho. Uh, it's more down to earth. It's more of an every person's book, story, thriller, and the main character is, it's a hoot. But we're talking about Kismet. Kismet follows Ronnie, who has moved to Arizona. I believe it's Sedona. Um, anyway, let me, let me read you the description, uh, and then I'll tell you what I liked about it. Uh, yoga, smoothies, murders. Another thing is Amina is hilarious. This book has a lot of funny moments in it that do not detract from the serious situation that's going on, and that alone is impressive. Lifelong New Yorker Ronnie Kahn never thought she'd leave Queens. She's not an aim high, dream big person. Until she meets socialite wellness guru, sorry, socialite wellness guru Marley Dewhurst. Marley isn't just a visionary, she's a revelation. Seduced by the fever dream of finding her best self, Ronnie makes for the desert mountains of Sedona, Arizona. Healing, yo healing yoga, transcendent hikes, epic juice cleanses. <laughs> so just reading, just reading the, uh, the description has me chuckling because I've read the book. Uh, Ronnie consumes her new bougie existence like a fine wine. But is it really? Or is this whole self-care business a little sour? When the glam gurus around town start turning up gruesomely murdered, and it's just the death, the amazing chef's kiss, uh, Ronnie has her answer. All is not well in wellness town. As Marley's blind ambition veers into madness, Ronnie fears for her life. So what did I like about this book? Um, I liked how it poked fun at, uh, at, at wellness culture. The, the extremes of these things is what I'm talking about. If you like crystals or into that, any of that stuff, spirituality, all that stuff, it's whatever. It's your life. Um, but I, I think 
Amina managed to toe the line between respectful and disrespectful, that, that gray area of all good satire, um, just like she did with hashtag fashion victim. Um, my favorite part of this book is the ending. Um, I am not, and this is going to sound braggadocious, but I, I am not easily fooled or tricked by thrillers. In fact, that's why I tend to stay away from them. Uh, because I usually have a line on who the killer is, who the bad guy is, whatever, crook, thief, so on and so forth. I, I can usually tell right away. Um, I don't know. It's just how my brain works. And also, I'm a writer, so you know I can pick apart and see, okay, well, this person, I would, I would do this with that person, and so on and so forth. Um, nothing about this book is obvious. Uh, from, from the very get-go, I had my eyes set on one person, and I was kind of right, um, but there was so much more to it that I did not see coming. And then there's an a added twist on top of everything else. Um, I, I love the ravens. There's a supernatural aspect where uh, the ravens invade Ronnie's dreams. Um, they're also working with another person to uh, kill off these, uh, these fake uh, gurus, these wellness gurus. Um, I love the twins. Those are probably my favorite characters aside from Ronnie. I absolutely despised Marty, and I think that was the point, I'm pretty sure, after a time. Um, but one thing I, would, I do want to talk about, um, I've seen some reviews that talk about this. Uh, there is an awful lot of xenophobia in this book, um, and it's not just the, the typical slurs and whatnot. It's the casual xenophobia the casual racism that I thought was handled very, very well. I, if you don't know, I live in central Alabama. I have seen this over and over again. This stuff happens. And while it might seem like fiction to some people, if maybe you don't live in the South or you live in, uh, I don't know, a more diverse area, um, but there are so many people like this. Um, and it was both well done while also being cringe-inducing, because, like I said, I've seen this and I've heard these things before. Um, but the, the standout here is the humor and the twist. <clears throat> I, I love the way Amina writes. I am so happy, and uh, not, not that she was going to let me down or anything, but I'm so happy that a sophomore effort is this good. Um, I had a blast all the way throughout, kept me guessing all the way to the end, and I have nothing but praise for this book. So if you are interested in a satirical thriller about the wellness culture, uh, definitely pick up Kismet by Amina Akhtar. It is out right now, today, as of today it is out. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I, saw, I, just, I just had a thought, went off on a tangent, but uh, Anyways, pick it up today. I'll leave a link down there in the doobly-doo, and I hope you enjoy it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.